So uh, Phil Anselmo, uh, you know, the former frontman for Pantera, currently the singer of Down, is coming under some fire for um, saying white power and giving a Nazi salute on stage. Uh, and there's been all these musicians who have come out, you know, with their good guy badges and are like, oh, we're not like him. We don't approve of that message. We're really actually really nice guys. Can't we all just get along? And it, it, it's kind of sickening in a sense. And it's not just some fucking dude, Rob Flynn of Machine Head or something, made like some like epic long good guy badge video about how he doesn't approve of Phil's racism. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you know, what I really want to ask is, does it fucking matter? Does, if Phil, you know, Anselmo is a bigot or he's a racist, does that affect you? Does that affect your life? Does that affect, you know, if you're a fan of Pantera or his new band Down or whatever? Does it do we, what, what does that matter? It doesn't. It really doesn't. I mean, I could kind of, I could kind of understand if, you know, Phil got up on stage and was like, I hate black people. All black people should die. Then I could kind of understand it. But for him to say, you know, white power, give like, you know, a Nazi salute. What does that really matter? You know, all that, it matters to these PC liberals or polishing their good guy badges and be like, oh, fucking racist. No, Nazis, Nazis. Yeah, Ooh, what the fuck is a Nazi? A Nazi, what, the National Socialist Movement from the 1930s? Really? Does that really affect you? Does that affect me? Absolutely not. I don't think there are any Nazis left. I think they're pretty much extinct at this point. It, it just, it, it just, I guess my point is, is I don't think Phil really did anything wrong. Phil is entitled to his opinion, okay? If he wants to shout white pride and give a Nazi salute, so fucking let him, you know? The, who cares? I mean, it's one thing if he's doing it, you know, in your presence or, you know, on your lawn or someplace like that, but... Does, it's fucking, who gives a fuck? It's fucking Bill uh, uh, Selma. Like, let him fucking do what he does. He's a, he's a rock star. Let him be a rock star. And, you know, I don't know. It, it just, it never ceases to amaze me how many fucking people will come out with their guy bad and just be like, oh, we don't support that. And, like, these, this fucking, fucking fucktard or guy machine. Head, Rob Flynn, or whatever. come out and be like, oh, make some 15 minute long video basically saying how he disapproves of Phil's actions. It's like, well, who gives a fuck, Rob? I don't think Phil gives a fuck. And unfortunately, Phil caved. He caved. He caved. Now, his actions did reflect poorly on the band, and I guess they had, you know, a couple concerts couple you know venues cancel because of that which is unfortunate so then you get this half-ass insincere apology from phil which i'm disappointed at uh by uh you know and he's trying to say it's now it's about money he doesn't want to you know negatively you know reflect on the bandmates but you know it's an insincere apology phil probably doesn't give two fucks he's probably trying to save you know some money and whatever, I don't know, it's just stupid, and it's just, it's, the worst part, again, is, is all these people who, this doesn't even affect coming out like this machine head guy, Rob Flynn, uh, feel racist, eh, he wasn't talking about white wine, eh, de, de, de. like, fuck you, Rob, like, who the fuck cares, like, he's basically riding the coattails of what Phil did and said, and he's polishing up his good guy pants. He's just like, look how shiny it is. Look how shiny it is. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. Feels bad. I'm not like Phil. Yeah, fuck you, Rob. 